Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now Hello! Today is a very exciting day. I have just moved into my first ever flat. Obviously I was living with my fiance for a while so I've moved out before and done the whole moving out process. Followed by a very rough few months with my housing and I have now just moved into my first ever own flat. Like I'm the only one living here. This is fully my flat. I can't believe it. It's just hitting me. Like I just dropped my mum back. Um, she came with me to get my keys, to meet my landlord, to bring over like what I needed and everything in the car. Well, in my car, but to help me get it all in. And I just dropped her back and it wasn't until I was like driving home and I got back and I opened my front door and I was like, holy shit, this is my flat. <laughs> I'm very, very excited. Um, I am private renting, but I'm very lucky that I've got a laid back landlord in the sense that I'm allowed to paint. I'm allowed to do pretty much whatever I want, obviously with some limits, but everything that I wanted to be able to do, like hanging things up, painting the walls, making it my own, I'm allowed to do. So that is what I will be doing. I'm currently sat in my living room. Um, I'm pretty much camping in here. So Monday next week, my furniture is getting delivered. And then Tuesday, my moving van is bringing all my stuff from my mum's as that's where I've been staying again. So bringing all of my stuff from there, my furniture that I'm bringing here, all of that stuff, all my boxes and everything, clothes. But yeah, Monday is when my furniture is being delivered. My sofa bed, my new bed frame, my new mattress. I've already got my coffee table, that's at my mum's. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Maybe that is all that's being delivered. Oh, and I have a rug being delivered at some point, but I don't know when that is. Why do I feel like that's tomorrow? Maybe I should check that. Anyway, I'm currently sat in my living room. I'm going to be filming my process of making this flat into my home, decorating it, furnishing it, just making it my own. I'm so excited. I, as soon as I viewed this flat, saw so much potential in it and it instantly felt like the right thing, the right move for me. I did view a few other places before that. It's been a process trying to get flat. It's definitely been a challenge, but we got there in the end and honestly, it couldn't have worked out better. Now that I'm here, I'm like, it couldn't have worked out better. So yeah, I will give you a bit of a tour of what we're working with currently because I want to just like update on the process. And I'm hoping this time next week, this flat will be pretty much fully together. That's my aim, but I'm gonna be doing it pretty much completely alone. So we will see. <laughs> so you come in the front door. This is the kitchen. The kitchen's pretty much gonna be staying the same. Got some recycling over there. I've cleaned this kitchen thoroughly today. Those bowls decided to stick themselves together when I racked them, so that's really great. <laughs> I haven't got all my cutlery here yet. I just bought what I needed for the next few days. Also, look how cute these glasses are. Can we take a second? I'm so thrilled with them. But yeah, nice big kitchen, so happy with it. Oh, I left auntie back wipes out. Fridge freezer, I've already done my first food shop, so I've actually got, my cupboards are pretty stocked. Nice big window. Heading out here, storage cupboard. Living room. <laughs> this is where I'm sleeping currently because I'm painting the bedroom first. It made more sense to put everything in here to start with. So I've just got my duvet and stuff. I've not set my duvet up yet or put my bedding on. Tables that are not yet set up again because obviously there's no point until it's kind of painted and ready. Dining table, chairs are not currently here. Bedside table that is currently in here. Box, that's pretty much empty now. That was just with some like crockery and stuff. Clothes, everything I need. <laughs> But yeah, really nice size living room. My plan for this room is pretty much to paint this wall dark green and then this one and this one white. We're going for a green and white theme. This one's already wallpapered, so we're leaving that as it is. Coming out here into the bathroom. Lovely big bathroom again. Hello. I've already done my hair care, my skincare. This isn't all of my products. I mean, for skincare pretty much, they're all new. But for hair care, still got some more to add up there, but there's plenty of room for like another layer of stuff. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that is it. Currently soaking the bath with bleach. I can't actually tell you because I've been living out of bags for literally like three months straight. Having somewhere to put my stuff. Like just the thought of being able to stand here in the morning and do my hair with all my stuff there, my skincare. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> Coming out here, another storage cupboard. And this is my bedroom, which is very echoey, very empty right now. Big old mirror on the wall, courtesy of the landlord. And again, as me and the landlord both agreed, these walls are absolutely fucking hideous, so they're going to be changing. We've got a white wall at the back, so that will be staying as is. But this wall, going to be dark green. 
This wall's gonna be dark green. This wall I'm leaving as it is for now because I'm gonna see how it looks with the green and the white. If I really can't bear it, that's gonna be white too, but I'm just dreading the thought of having to paint over brown with white. But yeah. Welcome to my home. Bid guff, as my bassist is calling it. I'm in my painting clothes, my dungarees, t-shirt that I'm not gonna keep after this, probably, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it for more painting. But I'm about to get started on the bedroom walls. I have never painted in my life and I'm doing it alone. I am shitting it. My mum has very helpfully um, masking taped these skirting boards ready for me to just get started, but I'm very scared. <laughs> right, it is time. I'm gonna masking tape the edges of the walls as well, just because I don't wanna get paint everywhere. So gonna do that, then it'll be time to put down some splash sheets and then it will be painting time. Let's do this. I've never done this in my life. So, 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 so. complete other than edges which i need to get a brush for tomorrow and round like hooks and nails there's two of them in the wall but it's looking so much better and now i'm starting on this one <laughs> i'm like nearly halfway there i don't know that i'll finish this tonight though because i am absolutely dead and flaring up real bad <laughs> my joints are killing me and i'm very dizzy good morning first night in the house done i'm so dead so fucking dead i only got five hours of sleep i didn't go to sleep till like 4 a.m i think it was after 4 a.m to be so real with you um and it's currently half nine so did not get a great deal of sleep i set my alarm for later than this but i woke up so i guess we're getting on i've just been in and checked out the bedroom um i forgot to film my progress last night like the end of my progress because i was on the phone to Haley. So I just came to bed, completely forgot to film it. So I will show you that in a minute. But um, I managed to get one wall fully done, one wall pretty much fully done. I've got one more wall to paint in there. And then green wall to paint in here, two white walls to paint in here, touch up the ceiling in here. And that is all the painting. So not doing too badly for first day, considering I've only been here less than 24 hours. But the green has dried so well in the bedroom. It's looking so fucking good, so even, such a nice colour. I've got a few little patches to touch up on the wall, the first one I did. And other than that, I'm very fucking happy. Especially because it's my first time painting, I thought it was going to look shit, but it looks really good. So yeah, I will show you that in a sec when I can pull myself out of bed. I gave up literally at the end of the second wall last night. I was so tired and drained and my arms were so achy. I was just like, I can't do any more tonight. So I'm going to finish that wall off this morning. Um, I also need to get brushes for the edges um, and like round the radiators and stuff. I didn't want to get too close in case I got paint on them, obviously. So I've like stayed quite far from the radiators. Definitely need some brushes to go around that a little bit more gently but yeah um other than that doing pretty bloody good so here is the progress on the bedroom did all of this wall other than this bit because i was so dead i was like i literally can't even do that like it's the last bit and i can't even do it obviously there's lots of edges and gaps and going over with a brush i'm just very cautious i don't want to get it everywhere so all the edges i'll get a brush for and this wall fully done looking really really good it's a bit dull the lighting in here today because it's just a dreary fucking day but the colors looking really good again obviously got the edges to go around but other than that it's looking really good it back from an absolute bloody adventure went to go and get vapes because <laughs> mine ran out and that is needed right now and i also needed a paintbrush in order to finish up the bedroom i finished painting the bedroom as of this morning but i need to do all the edges and around the mirrors and around the skirting boards and around the ceilings went to go find a paintbrush it was a bloody mission i couldn't find anywhere that did them 
tried an Argos, it sat nav made to the wrong place, found the Argos, it was in the Sainsbury's local, it was like collection tomorrow, not today. Eventually got there in the end, um, managed to get someone from the Sainsbury's to tell me where to go and there was somewhere like two minutes from there and I went to go and get some. Well, one. I bought one because they were bloody expensive and it should do the job. Let me show you the bedroom. This, oh, let's put the light on. This, oh no, that looks worse. <laughs> this is where we were at. So all the edges need doing, but this whole wall is painted. This one I have now touched up and finished. And this wall. Looking good. I'm so thrilled to get rid of the brown. <laughs> and it's gonna look so cute when it's got all like gold and wood and plants in here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. First thing's bloody first though, before I do anything else, I need to eat. I am so hungry. <laughs> bedroom at least this is how it's looking obviously it still needs to dry on the edges i am so happy with it i love the like one white wall all dark green when the furniture's in here i think this is gonna look so good Woohoo! just hoovered through everywhere had dinner i'm gonna get started on the living room wall the first one the room one and then that'll be the final bit of green done and then it will be white painting i've got a really busy day tomorrow i will still have time for painting i'm hoping to get the painting done tomorrow but um i just thought i'll get a head start because i feel up to it so why not it's not that i don't want you here it's something about the way you stare into mine i know that i don't For you every time. Good morning. It's time to get up. Breakfast time. Wall three is complete. I've just touched up the um, paint on this side because it was a bit patchy, but it is done. Right, onto the job I've been avoiding because I don't want to do it. We've got to get this wall and this wall to white, and then all the painting is done, other than I'm going to go over the ceilings a bit, but that's just going to be a quick job, hopefully. I'm just worried how long it's going to take to get blue to white. rug has just been delivered that is actually for the living room but i'm gonna put it in the bedroom for now just to make it more cozy in here boom <laughs> living room rug when the living room is finished it has been a very busy day. I'm yet to get ready because I'm in painting clothes and thankfully I didn't shower because I got paint in my hair. My landlord's popped around to put some new door handles on on the living room and bedroom door, which are now looking a lot more fresh and shiny. Boiler man came out because I've got a leak with my boiler, but we could not work out where it's coming from and he couldn't see any major issues. So just said, keep an eye on it. If it leaks again, work out where it's coming from and give him another call. <laughs> so hopefully that'll be all right. I have finished the first layer of white on the blue wall. I'm now starting on the second one because this one definitely needs a second coat. That is where we're at. And that is where I've just started to repaint. So I'm just gonna get that done pretty much. It's 
second coat is done it looks fairly white on camera i mean definitely compared to that but i can still see the blue shining through so i think it's gonna be one more layer i've got to go out and pick up some furniture um so i'll be doing that shortly jumping in the shower getting ready and heading out to get that and then my friend frankie's coming around to stay i think it's just gonna be an evening of painting to be honest get in the kitchen ceilings all done hello hello <laughs> Yeah, these need a good tidy up. Oh, they're clean. <laughs> the grocery's drop of the wall. Mmm, mm, yummy. Slay, you're doing Slay. great. Slay. I've got such a stance going on right now. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Already been up painting the living room. Very nearly done. Me and Frankie did all of the ceilings last night other than the bedroom ceiling like bathroom kitchen hallway just got all of the like little bits of mold and stuff covered up we're just finishing the living room wall now the final one and then that's all the walls painted thank god the bathroom and kitchen could do with a touch up on the walls but i'm just cannot be bothered for that at the moment they're not too bad it's mainly more like the colors i'm worried about than like the paint job really at the minute but yeah we're doing good I'm gonna pop out shortly into town grab some bits finish that wall off and then frankie will head home and then i'm gonna start getting furniture into place not that i have a lot here right now but i'm just gonna start make a start on it and then pretty much the next two days it's just collecting stuff um people dropping things over today and tomorrow i think getting my washing machine tomorrow and then monday my main furniture is being delivered and then tuesday my moving van is coming and that is everything in the flat so it'll all be ready pretty much by tuesday and then jasper should be coming here tuesday i'm so excited we've got like the main bulk of the hard bits done now. So excited. Jasp Bean. It's home time. What do you think, Jasp? What do you think, darling? You're exploring. You're such a good boy. Someone has joined me. His name is Jasper. I was not planning to move Jasper until Tuesday when everything else was here because I was just thinking maybe it's the kindest thing to like get everything sorted as it will be and then he moves into it like seeing it as it will be, do you know what I mean? So there's not like loads of change after a big change. But I got back to mum's this evening to go and pick some stuff up which I then didn't pick up because I picked up Jasper instead. But I got there and he ran up to me and he was so excited I was there and he was so happy I was there. And he's super attached to me. Like he's always been the kind of cat that's like he's fine wherever he is as long as he's with me we had a little period of time of sofa surfing before and he was with me because the council wouldn't put us into temporary accommodation or emergency accommodation with him and he stayed with me and we were just you know staying at different people's so he's fairly used to the car he's got his own little seat belt and harness in the car he's just fairly used to being moved around and considering this is the last big move and like he won't have to move again i thought do you know what let's just bring him with me because he is definitely going to be more settled being with me Hello, we're home, darling. I just feel like everything's come together now. Like I feel very, very settled. Hello. We are literally just sleeping on an airbed, but he'll just be joining me. He always sleeps on my bed with me, don't you? And he's actually doing really well. We've only been back for like maybe an hour and a half. I had a bath, I've just put my dinner on. And he's explored every room. He had dinner as soon as he got back. He's still having his moments where he's just like sitting in a room meowing, kind of being like, where am I? But he's doing really well considering. Obviously I'll still be moving things in the next few days. But to be honest, like I can shut him in a different room while we get things in. And I think it'll be easier for him to adjust to this space being here with me than seeing like my room at my mum's be completely emptied and being there for that. I think he would have thought I was leaving him again because there was a period of time that we didn't live together when I moved to Haley's. Um, he wasn't with me for like six months of me living there. And he really, really struggled. He got very depressed, he got very poorly. So I just feel like it's kind of in a way kinder to have him here with me. He's just gone to floor again he's doing so well i feel so at home now like having him here i almost feel like i don't live alone and i know that sounds weird because i obviously do but i feel like i've got a little roommate like i feel more settled i feel more relaxed just feel like i'm actually at home now that he's here very happy making some pizza and just gonna have a nice relaxed evening with jasper just settling him in getting him used to the space and hopefully get a reasonably early night because i don't actually have anything to do now which is really nice first night that i've been here that i've not had things to do all the paintings done now i don't know if i showed it on the vlog i definitely haven't showed like everything fully put together let me do that 
Hi, baby. Oh, I got this coat hook earlier as well, which is so cute. It's kind of quite bulky in my hallway, but you can get past it easily. Like you don't have to like brush against it or anything. Just have to try not to take your eye out with it if you came out in the dark. <laughs> Hello, baby. But yeah, definitely was needed because when Frankie came around, she was like, where should I put my coat? I was like, ah, oh, good point. Back of the door. <laughs> So yeah, definitely wanted that way before my housewarming and also before anyone else really comes around because I just want, you know, that there. Shoe rack will be somewhere next to it and then it will be nice for when people come around. Anyway, this is the living room currently. I set up my little side tables. They are probably gonna stay there. I've tried to put everything in its place, but I'll obviously have to see when other things come in, like where it fits. But yeah, this wall is now fully white. This is wallpapered, we're leaving that as it is. Green wall and white wall. Got a chair here, which was originally meant to go over here, but with the sofa being here and it's a three seater, that is just not gonna fit. So chair's gone here, dining table with things on it currently. They will obviously be moved when I have storage to put them in, but there will be three dining chairs here. So a nice little dining table. Rug, so cute. Finally moved into the living room, now the painting's done. Gonna draw the curtains as well. These curtains were already here. They're not the nicest curtains, but they'll definitely do for now. Uh, the sofa will be going there, coffee table here. TV unit will be here tomorrow and the TV. So just getting everything sorted now, really. Exploring. I just can't wait for everything to be put together, to be honest. What else am I getting tomorrow? My kettle, my toaster. Um, I think that's everything tomorrow. I'm, my washing machine as well, we're going to pick up. So a hectic few days getting everything sorted, last few things sorted, but it feels a lot less intense than getting the painting done to be honest like now the painting's done i feel like the base is ready and it's just the fun bit of decorating it and putting things in their place can't believe it's my first night i can just chill like i can just get in bed and watch netflix i've got nothing to do got my microwave yesterday as well so hello from me and jasper <laughs> i've had a very busy morning my tv unit got dropped off to me um and then went to pick up my washing machine with my mom and her boyfriend just got it back got it fitted currently running it on a wash with nothing in it just to check the water was working and everything and then i've got to clean it all out and do all of that fun stuff i also picked up some more stuff from my mum so the living room is finally coming together which is so nice i'll show you from my view now what it's like but um yeah i'm gonna get on kind of clearing things up today cleaning up the belongings putting them all in their places i have a very needy boy <laughs> So this is where the living room is at right now. Looking so cute. Obviously there's stuff that's not in its place, but that little corner is coming together. Coffee table's here now. That's the TV unit. I have a working TV. Because it's a smart TV, I've just connected through my data because I've got unlimited data, haven't got my Wi-Fi yet. And I just can stream from my phone without any connection. So I don't need a Google Chromecast, which is fucking great. Saves me some money. Also means I've got a working TV now before I even have Wi-Fi, which is so nice. Update on how the rooms are looking. I put that little mirror up over there. TV. Cute little lamp. That was my dad's lamp, which is just so cute. And some pictures. Sofa will be here tomorrow. And then it's just bookshelf and things to put in here and chairs for the table. But we are getting there. With my bedroom, feet are just been. I have put some vines up on the wall. I had these vines at my mum's, but I didn't have them like this. I had them like straight down. But I put them like this and I think they look really, really cute. Um, or they will look cute when the bed's here. So yeah, that is where we're at. Good morning. My furniture is being delivered today. Well, the main parts of it. I'm currently getting all my phone calls in bed and then I'm gonna get up and get some things done, including deflating this airbed because this airbed has already deflated itself. <laughs> Felt like I was sleeping on the floor last night and I need to get out of the room, ready to put my bed in here. But yeah, just been sorting some very exciting phone calls <laughs> that are needed when I've moved house. I feel weirdly nervous about like the last things coming here, mainly the moving bank tomorrow. I think it's just making it like fully, fully real. And it's kind of like, I feel like I'm moving all over again, going to get my moving van tomorrow and it being like the final thing before everything's done. I just feel a little bit nervous in a good way, but just a little bit nervous. Cleared the bedroom, ready for the bed frame to come in here. I've just put everything over here, deflated the airbed, put it away. Gonna get some washing up done, showered and got ready. I think I've got about an hour, two hours. I'm going between half two and half four. So I'm just gonna chill really, put the TV on and just relax until they get here, pretty much. It's building time. I don't know if that is like the length of the sofa, but if so that is literally perfect for the spot it's going in. Through here, mattress and bed frame. I'm gonna start on the sofa, just because I want the living room put together first. And then I get on with the bedroom. Hello, Jasp. He's definitely behind the washing machine. I'm gonna let him hide up for a minute. I'll come and check on him in a bit. Right, building time. I also have 
absolutely no idea how. I've lost my scissors since being here. I had them and then they've just disappeared from the spot I had them in. And I don't have any sharp knives. We'll see what we can do with this. Really do with my scissors. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. Sofa's out, box is removed. I have to get it in place. Woo! Oh, what do you mean there's boxes underneath this? Holy shit. There's like boxes in the sofa. How do I get those out? We'll work that out in a sec. Okay, right, I'm assuming that's how I get to the box. This is where we're at. It's a lovely sofa and it's gonna fit perfectly, but how the fuck do I build this? We've got one armrest on. That one is propped up, not screwed in. But this one is now actually on. I can't tell you the breakdown that gave me. I couldn't get the screws through the armrest as well as the sofa, like they weren't lining up, which a lot of people said on the reviews that that was a problem they had too. But oh my God, that was actually ridiculous. Hello. I apologise for my absolutely horrendous vlogging today. A lot happened. It's been a very stressful day. Obviously, I filmed me, like, starting to put the sofa together, and then the next clip was just everything done. While I was putting the sofa together, um, the cyst I have on my ovaries, I've got a cyst that, like, comes back, and then it bursts, and it comes back. It's happened twice now. I had a cyst, it burst. Worst pain of my life. And then it burst again today. While I was on my own, building my sofa, it was so fucking painful. I just did not film anymore while I was, like, dealing with that. I pretty much ended up in a heap, and then my friend Frankie came over and helped me finish building all the furniture. Bought me a hot water bottle because I didn't have one here. I took some painkillers. About five hours later, the pain eased up. And here we are. I'm in my new bed with Jasper. My bed is set up. I've been spending the evening in the living room watching TV. I've got a takeaway. I'm about to settle down to sleep because it is moving van day tomorrow. Final big thing to do. And I am dead. It is currently 1.44 a.m. Best believe I'm about to go out for a snack as well. But yeah, I should definitely get some sleep. Gotta be up at seven, so. <laughs> I finished my flat yesterday. I was just so tired all day. I literally didn't film anything. Like I didn't even think about it. I really just went into like get everything done mode. Literally took me four hours to unpack everything, get it all in its place. Then I had to go back to my mom's to pick up more things. I went and got my car washed. Like I was just doing so much, but the flat is officially done. I'm going to give you a tour of the flat. I could not be happier with it. Hey Jasp. <laughs> I literally couldn't be happier with it. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted it to be. I look so dead. I need a very restful day. I still have things to do today, but I'm gonna take it very slow and easy. But without further ado, let me give you a tour of my flat.
I could not be prouder of how good this looks, how good I've done, and the fact that I did so much of it single-handedly. Like, obviously, I had Frankie's help for a little bit of the furniture building and a little bit of the painting, but most of this is me. I'm so proud of myself for that. So, considering that this is, considering this is my flat done, that is the end of the vlog. Thank you for joining me in making my new home. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see, any to do with the house, any to do with anything else. But yeah, that's it from me. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!